Hey guys, good morning, uh, happy morning, and we have a new friend joining us today, Neha Jha. Neha Jha has uh, recently grabbed uh, Mrs. India Telangana uh, in the classic category. She is a winner in this particular category, and uh, apart from this, she is a life coach. She uh, preaches people on mindfulness. You know, what whatever you're doing, uh, you should actually give hundred percent. Whatever you're doing, and uh, she is also a trainer. She is a corporate executive. Uh, she is also working. Apart from this, uh, let's also hear how she is taking time for all this. One of the common things between Neha and me are. Uh, uh both uh, are part of uh, mad project uh, mad project lot of people who are not in corporate uh, are not aware of this particular concept mad, mad is basically making a difference so there is a function or a csr a department which basically runs these uh, you know projects which makes a difference within the organization or you know for the society so thanks a lot a lot uh, neha for joining us so kaisa lag raha hai after winning this particular uh, pageant and uh, you know a lot of stuff Uh, towards the csr activity so we want to hear more about neha and how she got into this passion of uh, you know uh, coaching uh, teaching people about mindfulness and fashion over to you yeah okay uh, so thanks ravi ji uh, for having me in here today and good morning everybody happy monday everyone um so lots of questions so let me answer one by one uh so a bit of background about me um i come from the city of patna and uh, my parents are into educational background both are professors and have been professors and hods in botany um very disciplined yet very affectionate parents we are two sisters and we've been born and brought up you know in in and in an equivalent way and um, we have enjoyed our uh, childhood uh, got married at an at a, at an early age i would say uh, because i was the eldest daughter of my family and from there my journey started um, so uh, for mrs india telangana the question you had I registered first time for Mrs India Telangana in 2019. Mm-hmm. Yes you've heard it right in 2019. Uh that is one of the magical moment in my life I would say. Uh I just saw a standy of Mrs India Telangana and uh uh it was my own decision to go ahead and register something sparked my mind. I would let you know why did I do that and I registered in 2019 and from there my journey began 2019 was a beautiful journey uh under the leadership and able guidance of our regional director Mrs Mamta Trivedi ma'am uh and the wonderful team and I got the opportunity to uh you know um uh, walk the ramp and you know uh be as fashionable as I can and you know um show the power of womanhood in in you know in those uh, words show the power of womanhood uh I I I enjoyed each and every moment of 2019 um i would say that i was good at that point but then there was something which was uh, you know going inside me i thought that yes i did perform well very good i was among uh, 25 finalists who were on the stage for the final q and a round but then i wanted to you know give one more shot once again you know i was good but this time i wanted to be a better version of myself and from 2019 the journey again continued uh in 2020 so i was bestowed with mrs thoughtful 2019 and um, that is that is still a very special moment for me and then in 2020 I worked on polishing some of my skills. I worked on my fitness which I really wanted to improve on and uh we know what what happened in in the early months of uh, you know 2020 when uh pandemic did hit and uh uh but then again um 
you know due to the due to the high uh, determination of you know uh, uh, our ma'am and the team uh we had wonderful e auditions and wonderful e grooming sessions again and uh and um here i am uh today in front of in front of you so i would like to say here is that uh with you know being a winner in mm. classic category in mrs india telangana 2020 edition is a moment of great pride and honor if you ask me i would say i am in seventh heaven in cloud 9 but then i know the amount of effort i have put in to reach here and i want to maintain the same momentum and consistency going forward uh i want to maintain the grace and dignity that this prestigious platform holds and um, i want to take this forward because because the sash which i'm wearing is just not a piece of cloth it comes with quite quite a lot of responsibility so i am ready to you know shoulder and bear all the responsibilities that is required out of my role and i want to take it forward so Super. this yeah so this is um my story for uh, mrs india uh, telangana uh, 2020 like to talk something uh, ravi ji there is another uh, part of mrs india telangana uh, a different part which is an ngo called seva it is society for empowering women to achieve again led by our visionary uh, founder mrs mamta trivedi ma'am and ma'am has set up this platform for all mrs india telangana family to to you know to give back to society give back to the unprivileged ones give back to needy help people around so i have been a member of seva since a year now since i i am a part of this family since 2019 and this this journey has been amazing and a life transforming journey we we have went into a a different we met different set of people uh, ma'am being a director of uh, ma'am ma'am being the goodwill brand ambassador of akshay patra we have been to the kitchen we have we have tied up with uh, mother autism foundation led by dr suman sharaf and we have we have done the ramp walk with aut- autism kids kids which have autism we have had a powerful and wonderful uh, skit led by uh, mrs radhika agrawal who was uh, who was classic uh, mrs india telangana 2019 winner so i have been a part of it and and it's 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 a wonderful journey so the learning never stops and uh, uh, it's it's like miles to go and i've just started uh, my learning journey so here i'll just take a pause and then maybe i can talk about the life coaching that i'm pioneering so any anything that you would like to ask yeah so uh, the csr activities which you are involved not only you know uh, within your office or outside so this happened you know by chance or uh, you had this in you for a while uh no it it didn't happen by chance i always look forward to help people in whatever way i can and like every organization has the csr wing so my organization is no different and that's how i um, you know enrolled myself and it's been a while now that i am an active csr member in in the current organization that i am in and um, we have trained uh, lots and lots of ngos within india so while uh, yeah so a uh, while uh, during pandemic we have had different uh, you know training sessions in national level or uh, village level state level and i've been a part of that since quite a while now okay so how, how 
when did you get into coaching and you know transforming other people you know it, that is a very difficult thing yeah. i think my life has been full of experiences uh, uh which allowed me to take this uh, uh step uh so i would just give a very small instance um so i when i was in the final year of engineering i was pregnant and uh, and and that time uh, you know uh, uh we had a paper and um, there was a massive uh, you know shout out from student that they are going to uh, you know boycott this exam because the the paper was was very difficult mm-hmm. and i had no other option but to write the paper because i knew that i'm not going to come back again to write the same and that was like if i'm going to get out of this i am not going to get my engineering degree so in spite of all the you know the revolt and the revolutioning a revolution happening outside the campus i took this strong decision that whatever happens i know my paper i am going to uh, write this today i i am not you know i am not going to be with the mass who are into the revolt so so this was one life transforming decision that i made because i knew that my health will not allow uh, again uh uh similarly uh similarly you know when uh, when i had a small baby and i saw my friends settling down at home you know easing out i took the decision that no i'm not going to be like this i need to be independent i need to step out so so you know when when i was making these decisions in my life side by side i was also reading the mindsets of people so you know when i would i would just share uh, myself and my mother we were walking down the campus and one student did tell me that neha i would hit a brick on your stomach if you you know go and write your paper again oh shit all right yeah so it was that kind of because i was the only person against the entire crowd because i had my own limitations that time and you know i i just i just told him that you need to relax and calm and look into my situation why i am going ahead with my decision all right so there there are there are there, there are many such instances where i could feel that a person is so insecure a person is is uh, you know every time a person's mind is occupied with one unproductive thing or the other and that drived me to learn a bit about psychology i i i just got you know uh, deep down neck down reading the books around psychology and and then you know when you work in corporate you meet different kind of people with you know different and you feel that oh my god really i mean i never thought you would be like this i mean the different kind of you know mindsets that you work with day in and day out that you know drove me to learn bit of more psychology and uh, uh there was there was a person uh, i'll not uh, uh, disclose the name she told me that you know uh, neha today i have everything but still you know i am i feel i'm so weak i don't have my peace of mind i'm not getting sleep you know i have everything i have a big bungalow i have two cars so you know somehow through different experiences that i have had in life and th- the way i tried myself to make my own decision and try to break all stereotypes i thought that i should go ahead and you know help people to to you know have that mental peace which is very requir- very much required at this point of time and then i started looking into the training courses which are there in udemy because these days you always need a credential without credential you are nowhere hmm. then i earned my certification and now i am helping people i'll not say my clients but i am helping people around they are very very motivational just two days back i talked with a lady uh, i would again not disclose her name uh, and uh, 
she was a cancer patient and a cancer survivor and she was not taking that one step to tell her story to the world because she was not good in english no. but then she 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 is a warrior the way she explained me her journey was a beautiful journey and now she has survived cancer she's warrior so when now i am teaching people there's so many things that i am learning from them as well so that's how the journey started because of the different kind of experiences i have had in my life i was uh, i really wanted to you know know more about people's mindset work on them train them coach them and that's why i have earned a certification on mindfulness as well and very soon i'm i'm planning to you know pioneer sessions on mindfulness as well how to keep that mental balance how to connect with breath sometime maybe what time in a day you know we know that we it's a it's always a busy day for us so during those practical and pragmatic approach how can we just take that some time and connect with breath and just calm ourselves down prioritize and have our mental health and mental peace at place that's very important i agree with you so we have some compliments rolling on for congratulating you and uh, there are a lot of comments and uh, one of the uh, person who is also complimenting you is uh, mr shwaniksha from ahmedabad he is also a cancer survivor so i'm sure he'll have a lot of connect uh, on the example which you shared uh, related to the cancer survivor so it's a, it's a good feeling receiving compliments from all across all your friends circle when you have this particular achievement and so wh- when did this uh, you know equality championship in the organization start so what what, what is the role you as one of the member uh, play yeah, because a lot of people are not aware of it i want you to uh, talk a bit about equality uh, in the office in the organization so that the people who are not the friends who are watching this who are not aware can learn because the some of these initiatives are limited to large corporates uh, are not available in small in, you know small businesses uh, and you know small offices so maybe a bit on that yeah sure ravi ji uh, so we all know inclusion and diversity is is the thing in today's world and uh, my organization uh, keeps having these initiatives as equality champion inclusive champion team which has gone more diverse and kind of uh, uh, think so um, in uh, 2017 um, there was a i'll just uh, explain my journey how this got uh, got to me so there was there was a girl i used to work with her in different projects and uh, she is a creative designer but uh, she couldn't speak and she couldn't hear so initially when i started working um, with her i could feel that lot of my time is getting drained because you know she is not able to uh, catch up on that because she is you know specially abled and uh, uh, and but you know slowly slowly when i started interacting with her and i saw her work i came to know that she is so talented is just because she cannot hear and she cannot speak she is somewhere lagging behind and 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 she is not happy with that and uh, it just happened that she stays in bangalore and once she came to hyderabad and we did chat over a cup of coffee and uh, she couldn't express but since i actually got connected with her so i i just came to know that that okay i mean such amount of tremendous potential is in her but but she is not happy because people are not realizing because she cannot talk and speak she cannot be a part of call every time she just has to do a screen share to let people know what she has done and somehow that went inside me and i thought i'll take this case to my leadership and i really uh, fought for her you can say i really fought for her i wanted to get uh, no i would not say rewards but the recognition that you know the organization should give her and i and i literally fought with leadership for her and and today she's she's happy she's settled and that was the day in in 2017 august that i was given equality champion and it, the title is still there because uh, uh, nobody has you know did steps that i have done so that's title so that title still holds there 
yeah you you so not found a successor for this yet yeah yeah so that yeah so it's 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 still there but 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 uh, this is the story uh, you know behind the uh, me getting the equality champion at work okay uh is that fine perfect okay uh, so neha we have some rapid fire questions uh, so that our friends can get to know you well so are you all set yeah yeah all set so uh, are you a personality is neha a personality who wants to get saved uh, she expects the friends to save her or you know is she a personality who believes that i should be available to save the friends or you know people around me when it's required uh b option b okay option b yes okay so do you have any habits that you wish to erase pretty soon or yeah whatever? yes um i still don't know how to say a no n o no so this is something that i would definitely like to work on and this is why something i see that i over stress myself so yeah this is something i need to work on yeah yeah so we have some similarity here <laughs> do you think yeah. that everybody has a capacity to be a leader to run uh, ngo uh yes everyone has that capacity uh but but uh, uh i would just take uh, the example of uh, you know founder of seva hmm. uh, mrs mamta trivedi ma'am uh and looking at her personality she's the founder of seva i would say that that there has to be a vision as well being you know just the capacity if if we have a capacity to do something that will not only help we need to have a vision we need to have a proper plan i have learned everything from her being being with her uh, especially in the journey of seva and and mrs india telangana uh, both 2019 and 2020 and uh, a big thing ravi ji you need to have like minded people team which is which is very important because team stands for together everyone achieves more so we so you know not not only capacity a vision a proper plan a team proper resources if you know those things are combined yes why not we all can can at least try uh, you know getting inspired by people around um, uh, to be you know uh, a, a founder or a leader of any ngo so have you uh, settled a quarrel between two best friends or people in the organization where you know uh, you know they were very close but later you know because of a small misunderstanding they had to part away did you try to settle some issues like that in a lifetime it need not be in the office it can be in the college during your lifetime um <laughs> so in office office yes because once you are there in organization you have a close group where you go have lunch and take tea and all so i i i i am that aunt in the office where you know everybody comes and say hey neha this is my issue hey neha you know this happened mera fir usse connection ye ho gaya hai i don't like that you know kuch baat nahi ho rahi hai thoda problem ho gaya can you help so i have been doing that i would admit so yeah i have been settling things especially in office front and and in my team members as well because i am i am quite available to my team so uh, any problem they have they will reach out to me they know that okay she is there she will she will handle things so they they reach out to me okay the next question is a tricky one okay mm mm-hmm. have you stolen tiffin box or tiffin during your school days or college days no <laughs> i've never been that foodie uh, uh, so no i have not stolen anybody's i was not able to finish my tiffin only and i always used to get scoldings from my mom so no i i i am i am not that kind you know i so never done that so your tiffin was available to be stolen but you know you you didn't declare it declare kar dena chahiye tha because there are some people who are out there who would like to yeah. taste <laughs> Yes 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 my tiffin was always available for my classmates to have but uh, uh no it wasn't the other way okay so if you are given a chance to fix the economy okay of india what what are the uh, 
changes you would make one or two suggestions yeah uh, so uh, ravi ji what i feel uh, is that we still need to work uh, with you know few skill development initiatives okay uh, 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 like you know in 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 our society only if we just you know uh, train people on special skills maybe ms word ms excel you know effective communication skill office etiquette some specific uh, skill training in fact if it's done i think employment rate in india would would you know enhance and increase and that would uh, fix the economy even if not now then then maybe you know in coming years to come so you know getting people uh, skill equipped is is very important we are we are uh, you know uh, focusing about the importance and significance of education which is 101% correct but we also need to uh, you know focus on getting people skill equipped that's very much important okay your next question if you are given a chance to come up with a new perfume by including two existing perfumes so what are those perfumes you will include and what what is that you want to try uh i am not a perfume uh, no. <laughs> related person because i don't use much of perfumes i i get a bit of allergy so not a question for me at okay. all <laughs> okay we'll switch the gear from uh, you know perfumes to chocolates or you know ice creams two flavored ice creams uh, you have to mix to create okay. a new one so what would you try okay um i'm not into ice cream also but oh uh, <laughs> maybe maybe butterscotch and strawberry <laughs> okay and i'll see what it comes out to be yeah okay so if you're going on a road trip uh, neha what what is that uh, thing which you look forward for road trip what what would be your priority the travel again the destination the locations what 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 is your preference uh okay um of course travel mm -hmm. i would like to enjoy every bit of road trip you know uh you know uh just you know entering those you know roadside dhaba and you know taste those uh, typical food that we don't get right from there to uh, you know enjoying a, a bit of we have had lot of road, road trips we went to mysore uh, we went to kurg uh, we went to mahableshwar so so no so you know a road to, road trip is just not about reaching the destination it's it's about enjoying the journey so you know when you're going to mahableshwar enjoy the strawberries you have purchase them have fun enjoy take pics have those everlasting memories with you so it's 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 like and of course uh, safety being the utmost uh, consideration so for me the road trip will be as soon as i begin from my source till the destination where i have to uh, reach i would be uh, uh, i would i would be like you know i want to cherish and enjoy each and every moment of this trip uh, i mean in whatever safe and possible ways that i can so what what is the most valuable thing for you right now is it free time recognition because you you got this particular crown so you you're waiting for compliments across or money recognition for sure okay recognition and is 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 highly valuable and uh, like as i said that you know uh, you need to i need to you know maintain this recognition maintain this uh, uh, consistency so that is that is a uh, uh, very much needed and and that is important for me i would definitely not get into the rewards part of it no for me it's recognition that matters how how did i mean uh, yeah th this is pandemic sorry wrong question but uh, how would your office you know the team members at office you know receive you you know once everything opens up i know my team has planned something but again it's it's pandemic but uh, uh two three of my colleagues 
टू थ्री ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स दे हैव ऑलरेडी आस्ट मी सो मेनी क्वेश्चन अबाउट मिस इज इंडिया तेलंगाना एंड मिस इज इंडिया आंध्र प्रदेश एंड दे हैव ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड देम सेल्व सो यू नो नाउ पीपल आर ओके फाइन नाउ आई हैव रजिस्टर्ड वॉट्स गॉन बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई आई एम लाइक ओके फाइन you have registered you have taken the first step now just be patient things will fall in place so it's 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 not only with me with my relatives with my friends they are calling me and telling me that hey neha this this person was asking me uh, his wife was asking me how to enroll so i i just told them that it's it's very easy registrations for 2021 is open you just need to either call or, or whatsapp on 9985844870 and get yourself a registered first and and uh, and you know things will get start from there so so my team has given me lots of congratulations notes and tokens and all my uh, leadership few ladies from leadership they are very appreciative of this and uh, but then i would not deny the fact that people are buzzing in my place that hey how can i enroll how can i register and i know that five six of my friends including two colleagues they have already registered uh, for mrs india telangana 2021 so it's it's a buzz now it's it's a buzz people have been talking about this and and people are happy enough to enroll uh, for 2021 super so neha what is the best compliment somebody has given you on your inner beauty okay so yes uh, this time i got the subtitle of mrs dedicated 2020 mm-hmm. and i i i'm really blessed to have received this and in 2019 i got mrs thoughtful subtitle so i think these two uh, beautiful subtitles that i have got uh, i i i i am really blessed to have received that at uh, as this really you know aligns to my inner beauty who i am inside out so that is what i would say what what is your husband saying uh, after the achievement what what is his reaction uh he he's been supportive in in this journey for sure not only he my my family members here in in my native so he he says that okay now you've become a celebrity <laughs> so you know i have to be always ab- available at your service so he's he it's it's a matter of you know pride at his end also and he's very happy uh with the achievement because because he has seen those you know positive changes in me during you know this this journey of mine so he's he's extremely happy for that your last question what what are you starving for I am starving to make a difference in this world starting from the society where I am I am starving uh to leave a legacy behind me I am starving to make my life both you know beautiful and meaningful in whatever way I can there are there are still lot of passions passion in me which I am yet to you know uh, achieve on or conquer so i am starving for that as well because uh because you know i i believe in dare to dream and not only dare to dream make those dreams into reality by your commitment by your action so i'm 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 starving for for all that that i just spoke ravi ji in front of you thanks a lot neha for coming on the show uh nice interaction and any message would you like to pass on to the women out there because this is rise and shine a uh, shine series and you know uh, this is for all the women out there about what they can do their capabilities and uh, yeah the sky is the limit so what is that one message you want to pass on to the uh, women out there who still in a dilemma kuch karna hai yes um so what i would like to pass on to all beautiful ladies is that there's just one life we all are playing different roles in life but then pursue your goals pursue your dreams pursue your passion because it's just one life that we have got we are, we don't know what happens after life so believe in yourself as as you know uh, mrs india telangana has you know rightly you know uh, 
influenced positively all of us to believe in ourselves so believe in yourself take that first step which is very important don't think that that particular day will come that favorable day will will come take that first step step in whatever area you are passionate about whatever place you want to make a difference and get started don't think about what is going to be the outcome what what is going to be the result focus on your step focus on your journey and enjoy this beautiful journey of life that is very important be happy be fulfilled pursue your dream do the roles that you are doing but but then stay passionate and i would also like to specially address to the women of telangana to be a part of mrs india telangana because it's a beautiful amazing and life transforming platform it has changed me evolved me positively i am more strong i am more powerful and uh, i i i have developed this attitude uh, this attitude by you know being a part of this family so enroll yourself register yourself for 2021 and enjoy this amazing beautiful uh, journey age is just a number like our uh, regional director ma'am also says age is just a number you know just just enjoy enroll register and enjoy and uh, and and you know feel empowered superb is is what i would like to convey superb thank you neha thanks a lot for coming on the show and inspiring a lot of women out there and uh, yes i i personally agree uh, women should try this particular journey and you know experience it it is not about winning but uh, the journey where they have a lot of learning it is about the competition it is about end of the day once you win what is the change how would you uh, utilize this recognition what you get to do some transformations in the society and uh, thanks for your mindfulness uh, sessions for people out there who need it because there are very few people who are ready to do something for others and you know thanks for being part of the seva uh, you know doing activities at your uh, level uh, akshay patra you know uh, taking care of uh, poverty and food all under the you know able guidance of uh, our regional director ma'am and yeah. of course her visionary uh, leadership yes yeah. I, i wish uh, you know this uh, initiative of uh, mrs telangana and mrs andhra of both the telugu states should you know move on enroll a lot of other women i'll be glad to be part of you know inspiring you know all the women out there to you know achieve uh, the newer heights and you know be part of this particular journey uh, so all the best with that and uh, continue with this inclination towards your csr activity and uh, i think you've got a very good uh, nag of uh, translating clearly as to what's wrong what's going right i think it is also very important that you narrate clearly and you know you've got that skill neha so keep Thank up the you. good work do well in whatever you're doing and uh, so friends uh, do follow neha uh, we'll share the social handles where she is available uh, do encourage the women out there who are around you um, your wife your sister your your neighbors your family members for whom um, this particular competition or this particular journey of uh, competing for mrs telangana or mrs andhra will make a lot of difference in their life ravi ji i would just stop you mrs india telangana yeah mrs and india mrs. india andhra pradesh yeah, mrs india yes. telangana and mrs india andhra pradesh because this particular journey will uh, transform a lot of them so if you feel uh, you have women out there who needs to build that confidence in their life i think this is a right platform so yeah do inspire women around you and uh, create positivity thanks a lot for joining in thank you neha god bless yeah thank you so much ravi ji thank you all for watching me thank you thank you bye bye